live in boonies. Basically forest, gerrymandered by houses and farms that go in and out of repair. There are several other houses right by mine, but I talk to my neighbors exactly none. A fact I'm glad for because the community looks like some straight up Silent Hill shit sometimes. There's like a weekly spoopy happening, to the point where I got so bored with it I just shrug it off as the status quo. Several weeks back, this changed. The time is 10am, and I'm savoring being a lazy fuck for not having to go into work that day, drifting in and out of sleep. Suddenly, ear splitting roar. All of my what? Check laptop. I do comedy YouTube playlists to help me get to sleep. Just music tends to put me on edge for whatever reason. To see if it's an ad. No ad playing. Halfway through two hour video. Nothing in Dark Seed 2 makes the sound I just heard. Even if it had been, something that loud would have blown out my laptop's rather shitty speakers. Slightly confused. Turn off pending alarm and drift in and out of consciousness with laptop on bed so I can roll over and check if I hear it again. Two hours later, halfway conscious. Screonk, motherfucker. Forgot about me? The roar both sounded louder and closer, as well as clearer. It sounded like the bastard child of a bear roar and that foghorn cry Godzilla makes. Tactically what? Sounded like it came from behind the house. Decide I'm not sleeping until I find out what made that noise. Grab lightly ruined oaken hiking staff. Grab fireplace poker. Bathe both in ash as whatever the fuck made that noise was clearly not of this fucking earth anyways. Trek in a woods. Check glove compass to double check I haven't been turned around like I had been before in the same woods. Love Compass is going beyond fucking nuts, spinning like a top, occasionally pointing towards the direction of the clearing I visited before with friends. I am a clearly sane, rational, and level-headed individual, so obviously, I go towards the noise. As I get closer, you're thrashing in the clearing, as well as a cow, but I don't recall Farmer Dan breeding fucking mutants. Start to see shit that's clearly off. Large movements through the gaps in the tree line. Low rumbling sound. Unnatural heat. Suddenly, very glad I hadn't changed out of my sleep shorts. Occasional burn mark on the ground. Yes, I am that idiot in the horror movie that moves towards the live hellmouth, apparently. Eventually, get to clearing to see what the ruckus is about. Peek out from behind tree. It's a fuck-mothering dragon. Or at least that's what I'd fucking assume. Think less Tolkien, more Lovecraft. It had pale gray skin that looked like boiled konjac, to the point where it appeared actively wet. It was hexapodal, balanced on six squat legs that looked like an elephant's more than anything. There were a pair of massive wings on its back that looked like they could actually lift the monstrosity off the ground. Even folded, they seemed beyond massive. Its tail looked like it had been stumped. Not in the way it had been cut off, but there was some sort of bulbous mass where the tail was supposed to continue. And then, there was its head and neck. It was like some kind of fucked up xenomorph. Recesses, where its eyes obviously should have been, but they seemed to have skin over them. Yellow teeth sticking out its closed maw on both sides, painted red with the gore of the cow it had just finished eating. And that's when my brain got a chance to catch up from, holy fuck, dragon, and got a chance to look at the rest of the clearing. It was totally scorched. Like, basically everything was blackened. Hear a snapping noise in the woods, roughly to the left of me. The dragon looks up. Its head is pointed in a decidedly uncomfortable, at me, direction. Hide behind tree. What smells like ozone? But what the fuck does ozone smell like? Is it that common? Suddenly, rushing sound. Like a dam burst. About a look from behind tree, but my judgment gets the better of me. Good fucking thing. 
because I suddenly find myself a yard from a large stream of aggressive something. To this day, I can't figure out what it was exactly. Uh, going out of green text here for a second. It didn't seem to be exactly fire, or a flammable substance. The movement was too jerky, but it didn't spark or crackle like electricity. And I still have the right half of my body, so I'm guessing it wasn't plasma. But it sure as fuck burned anything it touched. A spark got kicked up and burnt a sizable hole in my shirt. Began tactically praying in Old Norse once the fire dies down. Figure, I'm not escaping, so I may as well go out fighting. Jump out from behind the tree, ready to suicide charge a dragon. Hear rustling from the same spot as before. Boom. Same roar as before, followed by some decidedly unpleasant shrieking. Large gaping hole opened an iris ass. Hear shouting. Get the fuck away from my cows, you fucker. Holy shit, it's Farmer Dan. Not looking at him, focusing on the big fucker. It unfurls its wings and starts flapping, and takes to the sky with surprising expediency for something that had a torso the size of an RV. And it certainly felt like a large aircraft had just taken off. I was nearly bowled over from the force of the wind. It circles in the air once before heading out towards the lake. Stand there for a moment, just plain vanilla dumbfounded. More movement. Brandish fireplace poker. Farmer Dan is now about 10 feet from me. The gun in his hands looked like an old style break action, but the barrels were ridiculously large in diameter. My brain finally processes the fact that I'm being asked a question. Anon, what the fuck are you doing out here? Try my hardest to point out this is not the most important question to be asked in this situation. Finally, manage to coke an answer out of him. Apparently, several of his longhorns went missing from the pasture, and he caught sight of it moving to that clearing after one more had disappeared. Hunter friends had apparently reported some weird goings-on in his backwoods to him. Said they'd found some freaky shit and some big-ass nest. Only one dead cow in this clearing, however, and no nest to be seen. My brain refused to examine the possible meaning of those facts at the time. Ask him about the gun. Says he uses it to hunt whatever goes after his cows. The inflection implied... This was not the first supernatural entity he'd shot at using this shotgun. Farmer Dan stops him before I get back on the path. Now don't tell nobody about this, Anon. No use causing a fuss over some fairy tale nonsense. I am not about to disagree with a man holding what I can only assume is a two or a less gauge. Walk back home and fall asleep. Wake up later that day, assuming it was all some sort of fucked up dream. Look down and notice, Olin's shirt was legitimately there. Brain reeling for not dragon related answers. Half heartedly settle on this somehow being the shirt I'd burned slightly during a bonfire several years beforehand. Forced to confront reality when I notice said shirt lying on the floor. Decide then and there that I'm moving to the largest city I can get to so I don't have to deal with this bullshit anymore. There was a huge rainstorm the next day, so a lot of the char was washed out. But sure the fuck enough, when I went back to that clearing a several days later, it was filled with moral mushrooms, so it had to have been scorched at some point. I don't know what the fuck I saw, and I don't know if Slash K would have any better idea of what it was. But if I ever know that thing's in the area again, I'm finding as many commandos as possible, and leading realities, probably, First Dragon Slaying Raid.